at the newly opened Epicenter office complex in central Stockholm, workers no longer need a badge or a passcode to open doors. A microchip implanted in their hand does the trick. The radio frequency identification or RFID chip is made of Pyrex glass and contains an antenna and a microchip with no need for batteries. It allows carriers to open doors, operate a photocopier or swap contact details via a smartphone. The chip is the size of a larger rice grain. It's about 12 millimeters in size. That's put in with a syringe. And it sends an RFID code, so it's an identification tool that can communicate with objects around you. So practical here, you can open doors using your chip. You can uh, uh, do secure printing from our printers with the chip. But you can also communicate with your mobile phone by sending your business card to individuals that you meet. While the current range of benefits the chip offers is rather limited, its makers say the aim is to explore possible uses and to see how products and services can be developed around the technology. It's hoped in the future workers equipped with the chip will be able to purchase food in the canteen and even get health checks. So some of the future areas of use, I think, like anything where you today would use a pin code or, 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 a, or a key or a card. So payments is, I think, one area. Uh, I think also for healthcare reasons, that you can sort of uh, uh, communicate with your doctor and, and you can get data on what you eat and, and, and sort of what your uh, physical status is. Its manufacturers claim that chipping is completely safe, but it has raised concern among civil liberty groups worried that it's not hacker safe and could be used without the wearer's consent to track their whereabouts or gain access to private information.